Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to create a helix with a variable pitch and a variable diameter. Basically what that means is that the distance between the center of a turn and the adjacent turn varies and so does the diameter of the spring. Let's see how this is made. First, I want to create my base circle uh, with a radius at which uh, the user wants to start the helix. In this case, we're going to start a sketch on the top plane and make a circle and we'll dimension it at 40 millimeters. Next, under features, curves, helix and spirals. Select helix and spirals and as soon as you select that, you'll notice in the property managers on the left you get a bunch of options to define your helix. Select variable pitch and define it by pitch and revolution. We get some other options in this uh, area to define our helix, for example, just by spiral or height and pitch, etc. Once you select pitch and revolution, let's start adding values uh, to, to these parameters. Let's say we want to start with a pitch of uh, 0.5 millimeters and our starting diameter is at 40 millimeters taken from the circle we sketched on our top plane. Next, we want to change our pitch to 5 millimeters between revolution 1 and 2. So we'll change that to 5 between revolutions 1 and 2. And we'll change the diameter to 35 instead of 40. <coughs> Let's say now the pitch remains the same. The pitch, uh, so the pitch diameter remains the same. I'm going to change the pitch revolution to 2.5, or sorry, to 4.5, and we want that diameter around there to be 22.5. For our last parameters, we want our pitch to be 0 0.002 millimeters and do that around the sixth revolution. So basically what it says is from 4.5 to 6, uh, we're changing the diameter from 22.5 to 15 millimeters. Once you are done inputting these values, Let's just click yes, and uh, here is our uh, desired helix. Now, in order to finish the spring design that we started with, uh, uh, in order to finish the spring design, uh, we want to make a circle uh, on the front plane. Let's sketch a circle on the front plane and give it a radius of 1.25 millimeters. Once I'm done, I can select my swept bar space command, select my profile, select my path, and say yes. And here is our desired spring. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.